Hello Cancer and welcome to your new moon in Capricorn Tarot reading. Today we're going to be looking at the Light Sears Tarot deck, drawing up your uh, your major theme and then clarifying it. And then we're going to draw an Angel of Abundance card. Thank you so much for being here, Cancer. This set, this this new moon is actually happening in your seventh house, and it's very conducive of long-term relationships, really stable foundations, starting, initiating new things that can can uh, last for a longer time, and that can be um, that can be supportive for your relationship. So you might want to start seeking now deeper connections and partnerships. And maybe even at this point, having new beginnings in all relationships, like setting boundaries and uh, clearing out expectations in your relationships, right, Cancer? So let's see what uh, what the tarot cards have for you, and then we're going to clarify. So the main theme for you, Cancers, for this new moon in Capricorn, is going to be the four of pentacles right guarding your energy definitely something that you can look at guarding your energy guarding your resources how you spend your resources with others um, really um, looking at how much you can offer how much you can bring to the table what is it that you are bringing to the table in your relationships and if you are to share those resources with people on what terms, right? This is a beautiful, uh, positive energy when it comes to being aware of what you, what you have and what you can offer in, in an exchange, right? So uh, maybe even having a bit of, of time to really consider before opening up your resources, your time, your uh, energy to others so we have the four of swords again an energy of reflection we have the three of wands and we have the judgment card so this is definitely something that it's 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 allowing you to sit with an emotion sit with the lessons that you have learned so far in your relationship the four of swords is considering how you're showing up in relationships, how you're showing up in the world, um, what is it that you have learned so far from your interactions with others, from your relationship, from your past experiences, and how you want to go forward in the future. Because it feels to me here that, that you want to go forward uh, by protecting your energy, you want to go forward by making sure that not everyone has access to your 100% um, energy or your highest vibrations, right? Making sure that you're very selective and very, uh, very aware and very um, intentional about who you're spending your time with. I think this is truly, truly uh, coming through here. You're very intentional about who you're going to be um, engaging from now on because you're definitely looking forward to a brand new star in your life when it comes to your um, re when it comes to your uh, passion or passion re passion relationships you're looking forward to ignite that feeling of being in love with someone or being passionate about something right but you want to make sure that right now you're going to start fresh by seeing, ex expecting to see uh, a form of engagement before you actually go all out, right, in this connection. So basically the three of ones is, is showing you that, yes, I've been through this experiences, I have learned that I need to pace myself. And the three of ones is asking you to do actually that, to pace your passion, to pace your drive, and to wait to see a sign from the other side, right? And to wait to see if the other is, is open to engaging with you on the same level, right? So you are ready to get involved, but you are waiting for a sign from the other that you're on the same wavelength. And this is a revelation that is coming through for you. There is definitely can be the seed for a very, very healthy new beginning in a relationship, healthy new beginning when it comes to you um, engaging with others for the rest of your life. This is a very important 
time to illuminate exactly where you have go went wrong in engaging with others too early maybe giving too much too early in the journey and this is the moment that you're realizing that this is not this this is your responsibility right this is your um doing this is you have the power you have the free will to implement this new lesson in your life about making sure that you're keeping your heart open you're willing to um to engage passionately with someone but you're also ready to pace yourself and to recognize the signals and to make sure that everyone is on the same path before going forward. And I truly think this is a very powerful message that is coming through for you here, Cancers. This is about you understanding that you have much more power in the outcome that you, you thought so far. So if, if if so far people have had the power to determine endings or to determine how the relationship went because you gave yourself too early, too soon, you gave too much of yourself. Now you're taking the power back and wait to see the same level of uh, engagement until you actually give more. So this is about the give and take, right? truly beautiful to see here cancer this this sort of emotional maturity this form of um pacing yourself until you definitely know for a fact that there's a good um that there's a good environment to invest in right so let's see what the angels of abundance so we have employment change which is amazing right maybe this is something about how you have been uh, taking advantage uh of at work and you're trying to change that narrative your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams priorities passions and life purpose trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new you are being supported each step of the way so definitely you are being supported to start afresh in an area that you will be able to engage differently from a different perspective, from a higher purpose, from a higher level of understanding cancers. This is about you really giving as much as you're receiving, right? So if you're going into work and give 100% and then you're not being recognized for it, then this is your opportunity to um, approach things differently. So thank you so much for being here, Cancers. This has truly been a wonderful reading for you. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.